In this example, we are going to study a three-phase cable model using EMS for inventor. Let me explain the model. We have three conductors made of copper. There is a layer of insulator and then finally there is an outer layer again made of another conductor which is basically there to give rigidity and strength to the cable. Now we have just modeled a cross section of the cable and it is the standard practice to just model a cross section of the cable to study. Now using FEA we would like to understand the electric field distribution inside the insulator. Now these copper conductors carry AC current and the peak value of the voltage is around 10,000 volts. So at the worst operating point, one of these copper conductors carry 10,000 volts, whereas the other two carry minus 5,000 volts. So let us study this worst case scenario to see the distribution of electric field inside the insulator. To do a simulation in EMS, uh, I can go to the EMS feature manager and the first step that I need to do is to create what is called as a study. We are going to use the electrostatic study and I'm also going to use the compute breakdown option and I say OK. Now the next step involves applying materials. The three conductors I'm going to go ahead apply material to the body and from the material library which is standard in EMS for inventor I select copper and say apply. The outer metal I'm going to select stainless steel and say apply and the insulator is actually a cable material made of solid PTFE. And you can see the breakdown voltage and the permittivity of this insulator. I select apply and close. Now I have applied the material to various components. The next thing I need to do is to apply these voltages that I mentioned. I'm going to select one of these conductors which I'm going to maintain at 10 kilo volts. So 10,000 volts. Then I select the second conductor which is at minus 5000 volts potential and finally we select the third conductor which is also kept at minus 5000 volts. Now the outer conductor is selected and it is grounded. These are the operating conditions. The next thing I would like to do is to create a mesh. Now I would like to have a very fine mesh in this insulator region, especially in the region that separates the two conductors. So to be able to do that, I'm going to just uh, mention a very high value of the number of elements across a diagonal. And I also want very smooth transition, so I make the um, growth rate to be 1.1. And when I say OK, EMS is going to mesh the model. Once the mesh is completed, I can go ahead and visualize the mesh. Notice how EMS automatically creates a very structured mesh in and around the components of interest. Let me go ahead and hide the mesh. Now that we have defined the study, the materials, the operating conditions and the mesh, I can go ahead and run the simulation. Once the solver has completed, we will take a look at the result. 
Now let us visualize the electric field distribution in the model. So I'm going to create a 3D plot of the electric field. And you can see the electric field distribution, especially in the region between the conductors. So you can see that the maximum electric field reached is close to around 7.45 million volt per meter. Now, is that a value that we are comfortable with? To, to be able to visualize that, we have what is called as a safety factor plot. So the next thing I'm going to do is create a safety factor plot. The safety factor plot gives you the value of the factor of safety and the way to interpret that is any value that is in the red region is a problem whereas we have uh, close to about uh, 0.5 safety factor in these regions between the two conductors. Now that is okay with respect to the operating conditions but Maybe as a designer of the cable, you would like to have a little bit more cushion, a little bit more safety factor. So to be able to do that, you can resort to what is called as a design change. Maybe you can have the spacing between the copper conductors a little more than what you have right now. To be able to do that, I can simply go to the inventor uh, model and I can edit my uh, copper conductors and, and then I can look at the sketch and then uh, see uh, that the separation right now is around 1.18. Let's uh, make the separation 1.25 inches and let's see how uh, the new design is going to behave. So I can come out back to my um, assembly and now I have a modified assembly here. I can go back to my EMS manager. Notice that inventor recognizes that the model has changed and it invalidates the study. I can basically right click on my study and update the components. Now what this does is it updates the new geometry and associates it with the study that we created earlier. Uh, I can just right click and run the simulation. And now once the solver has completed, we will take a look at the results. The solver has completed and then let us now take a look at the new value of the electric field. Notice that the electric field from 7.5 million volt per meter has gone down to 4 million volt per meter. And that's a lot more comfortable value uh, as a designer. The distribution looks similar. We can choose to see the potential. Here we applied 10,000 volts to the top conductor and then minus 5,000 volts to the bottom two conductors and you can see the uh, electric potential distribution inside the cable. And finally, we can double click on the safety factor plot that we created earlier. And you can see that the values are much more closer towards zero. And we can be now sure that um, this current separation is a lot more safer than the previous design. In this demonstration, you saw how we can use EMS for inventor to solve electrostatic simulation problems. We used a three-phase cable example. We also saw how you can modify your geometry and then EMS for inventor captures all the previous existing study properties and you can rerun the simulation and compare results between different geometries. Thank you for watching this video.